Who should I choose? Uh, I'm usually a Donatello fan, but I think I'm gonna try Leonardo um, to see if he's any better. Seems like Le Leonardo's faster. I like throwing him off the screen. Yeah, this game is the best. Hit by that. Oh, is it moving? Yeah, it is. It's moving. Get off me. Oh, I don't really want to get the pizza yet because. I'm gonna kill these guys first, just in case. Well, I made it. I don't think, like, I don't think they made the enemies in hard mode where they take more damage, I think they just put more enemies on the screen. Ah, oh, shit, why did I walk into that? I rarely get sick, but when I do get sick, it's like, it's, it's, it's brutal. I guess I was more negative. You were afraid of being negative on my stream. I was the one being the most negative. <laughs> Although I was speaking the truth, I mean. What can you do? Yeah. 
hate when you use your special move. It takes away life. That's bullshit. It's the point of having a special move in the game. When you use it, and it takes away... It takes away your life. Come on. Oh, you motherfuckers. That's what the difficulty does. Take more damage. doing good right now. Damn it, he had to go and jump off of me. I should have killed him first. I hate these guys, dude. Come on, jump! Dude, what are you doing? I think Leonardo's the key to this game, because I like Donatello, but he's pretty slow. Oh, he's got extra life from bonus, that's awesome. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, they don't under- yeah, you're right. They think that, you know, this is just the way it is. But it's not. It doesn't have to be that way. I've had hard times when I was a kid, and, <clears throat> but I never remember my parents having a hard time getting out of hard times when I was a kid. But there was always a solution to something. Nowadays, no, it's just getting away. It's just getting way bad. I don't know if it's because we have more access to information these days because the internet maybe it's been this bad for a long time who knows oh I know yeah these scammers like I said I want to join in the fight against them and I want to be able to expose them on YouTube and, and call them on random numbers and harass them all day. I want to... I see people doing that on YouTube. I want to get on the that bandwagon. Wait, can I fucking pause this? Oh, select this pause. I don't know why Konami did that for this game. Change the pause button to select. I don't I don't understand why they did that. I don't think the start button does anything in this game, does it? Oh I see why, never mind. It's cause they uh, made it arcade style, and if you press start, it's supposed to bring in another player, so I think that's why they kind of couldn't put pause on start. Okay, I see. Damn, I don't know why. Usually I can get those guys. Put two hits on him now? <laughs> but 
But that's like like I said, they should Western Union, Monty Graham, all them should put some kind of fake batch of of account numbers out, even the credit cards, and let us work on taking down these motherfuckers. This is still relatively early in the game because the Technodromes before uh, Let's kick the, before the part where you go back in time. probably won't be able to beat it without the game being here. Hard mode's tough. I shouldn't be playing video games, I probably should be sleeping. But I've been sleeping <coughs> for three days. I'm tired of it. supposed to be Razor. Razar. Razor. Razor. Sweet! <laughs> that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. 
I'm kind of worried about my profession and, and uh, I gotta get that pizza. Yeah, good thing I grabbed that or I lost the life. But I'm worried about web, web development is dying and I gotta I gotta accept that so I don't know what else I'm gonna do for a career. Um, I'm seriously thinking about uh, starting video game development for phone apps or whatever. Don't know exactly what kind of game ideas I would start with, but definitely have to be one of them freemium type deals. I would have to come up with an idea like that. I think I do have an idea, I just uh, don't know how to go to pursue it yet. I gotta start watching tutorials on making games. But, uh, my, my field is dying and I gotta do something. I mean, phone apps aren't going anywhere. So, I'm thinking... Maybe try to make cool, innovative games. Maybe if I come up with a nice winner, I won't have to work anymore. That'd be nice. I could probably do it, it's just... Just taking the time to learn the language and come up with my own game engine and... and yeah, come up with a good idea that's a little bit innovative and different. I was thinking of this game that had a lot to do with, you know, space travel and stuff. And kind of like No Man's Sky, but I was going to make, you know, make something better than that. Matter of fact, I had the idea before No Man's Sky even came out, and I was so mad when they came out with No Man's Sky, and I was like, oh, that's kind of what I was wanting to do. But 
good thing is they kind of tanked it, so maybe I could... I mean, it wasn't going to be exactly like No Man's Sky, um, what I was going to do is... Okay, here's what my idea was, but you guys got to promise not to tell me. Or steal it. <laughs> Alright, what about a game that you can travel interplanetary? Oh, hold on a second. Crap. I'm getting killed because I'm screwing up. Hold on. Okay, I got it. But anyway. How about a game where you did inter interplanetary... interplanetary travel, but you had to collect... I don't know how good this girl... You would have to collect different species of aliens. It'll be kind of like a sim planet, but you collect all these different species of aliens and let them survive on one planet and kind of see how they adapt and work with each other and that's what I was hoping to come up with. And you can provide different sort of resource, natural resources to them, and see how advanced they can make their technology. That's what I was planning on coming up with. Maybe I should start a Kickstarter for starter for that. Oh crap! Ah! I need to watch more. Oh, bullshit. Usually I can get the jump on him. The key to this guy is hitting him in the back as fast as we possibly can. Except for when he does that bullshit. <laughs> Jump! <laughs> oh, you ass. Son of a bitch. Yeah, so I was gonna come up with that idea. But, man, I don't know if I'd have the resource to, resources to make a game on that caliber level. But, uh, wow, I did better on that level than I thought I were, would. This is hard mode. If I didn't have that ten lives code in there, I would be I would be screwed though for sure. I don't think I've continued once yet, have I? That's pretty good. boss in this level's Bebop and Rocksteady and they're really hard. They're really tough. So I'm probably gonna end up continuing here soon.
crap. Definitely gonna continue. I was thinking what would be cool about that game is make... <sighs> I'm coming up with good ideas tonight, but... Uh... I think the cool thing, and I probably would be better off doing this as a Steam PC game and a mobile game. But what I was gonna do with this space game is uh, have it so that you can play it either on PC PC or mobile, and everything you in the the PC version, of course, would have the better graphics, and, and you could probably do a little bit more on the PC version. But then on the mobile version, you could kind of remote control your account, so your mo your mobile version would actually tie in with your PC version. It won't be like separate networks. <clears throat> so like you could do quick things on your space game account or whatever. On your phone and then when you want to really get into the depth of it and play it, get on your computer or console or whatever and all your information from your phone will be there. So you could literally play the game wherever you are and do different things with the game on your phone as opposed to on your computer, that kind of thing. Because usually people, when they're playing games, have their phone next to them. Or that while at, their, at work, they might think of something they want to do in the game and just pull up their phone and tap on it. Do a couple things. <coughs> and then when they go home to play it on the real console or PC, all that will be there. All their changes will be made. I have good ideas, I just don't... <laughs> I just don't have the resources to to write games. I need a better computer. can blow each other up. Oh, sweet. That's sweet. Oh, come on. I don't know why they're throwing these weird cactus frisbee looking things. That was not fair. That was bullshit. Really? Really? Get out of here with that bullshit. These motherfuckers will hold you. Come on, get out of here. Come on. I didn't want to use that pizza yet because I was going to use it for the boss because the bosses are a pain in the ass too. This is like the worst level.
They hit too hard, man. That's bullshit. Oh, come on. These stupid stairs are in the way. <laughs> Bullshit! I didn't even go up into those stupid stairs. I hate those fucking stairs. Should be part of the background. Shouldn't have to be able to go up there. I knew um, most of my lives would be spent on this level. But I actually did better than I thought I was going to do. Shell at wounded knee. How you go from? Oh, that's right. We're traveling through time. Now. do that. That was stupid. I should have got out of the way. You gotta kill the guys with the girders first, for sure. when I said this game is action packed. Not fair. Don't even get time to get up before something else is already hitting you. Oh, I hate Leatherhead. 
throwing my stupid knives, boomerangs, and crap, and lobsters. He's throwing lobsters at me. And I, s I slapped it, that lobsters. I slapped it, that right off my table. I slapped it, that shit. Throw on more lobsters. Slap the that shit. I don't know where this guy's getting lobsters from. That shit, if anything, that should have been like from the pirates. Crap! Oh, oh, good thing I got him. Robot checking Christmas. Thank you, Ron. Fucking twisted. Oh crap. Crap, get the pizza. Eat the pizza. You know, it's a question mark. I don't get that. The other ones are pizza boxes, but these bonus stages, they just have question marks. What's that? What's that? What is that about, anyway? This is my favorite bonus stage in the game, though. Robot chicken is fucking twisted. Oh, come on, I can get him. Oh, no. Damn. Well, I guess I gotta use a continue. It doesn't tell you, tell you how many continues you have left either. Sorry. Crap. All right. I gotta get something to blow my nose. I'll be right back. Sorry.
Okay. God. Sucks being sick, I'm telling you. It really does. Aw, oh, sons of bitches. What? Chicken, you make it fun. that for the room bugs.
Well, I don't know if anybody's watching or not, but feel free to chat if you are. Guys, man, get out of here! Oh no, there's more of them. Fuckers, I hate those yellow ones. Get out of here! Can't go past this part. I can at least beat Crane here. <sighs> Come on, you dick. I'm sitting there. What? close to beating the game. I hope I don't have to continue here. That would piss me off. I don't think I would, though. Should be alright with the other ones. Open. Oh, no, not the damn windows. Crane's enemies from iRobot. Minions, I should say. Oh, come on! Fucking cheat, you bastard. And I think you have to beat all the windows before the crane comes back. So 
was a pain in the ass. How many times have I gotta hit him for one fucking hit point? What? He didn't even hit me. There. Okay, good. Oh, I might actually have a way to, uh, beat this game. That is, just Shredder doesn't give me too much of a problem. Technodrome! The final shell shot! about turtle soup. Is that what this is all about with Shredder? Is it's like he really wants that turtle soup so bad that that he tries to just take over the world. He's like, damn it, I want that turtle soup and these motherfuckers keep fighting me and I just want to boil them up. Get out of my way! Come on, I hit him first! Oh, come on! Come on, dude, you know better! Away, that's an instant death. Oh man, I hope I can get him. This is gonna be a nail biter. I got him! I beat the game! Sweet! I beat Turtles in Time on hard mode without the game genie. Holy shit! <laughs> Single player. That's quite a. Uh, an accomplishment. Watch this kid. Yeah! <laughs> Holy crap. This is the first time I really legit beat a game. Oh wow. That's pretty cool. I guess Leonardo's the dude to pick. <clears throat> Look at Raphael's face. He looks like he's stupid. His eyes are all crossed and he's like, Bleh! Well shit, this stream might be YouTube worthy. Directed by, by Black! Produced by Konami. <laughs> Look at Raphael, he's like, Ugh. Pretty cool. I didn't think I'd be able to pull that off. Yeah. 
Now I should try a Contra 3. Yeah, right. Contra 3 on hard mode? You gotta be kidding me. I'd say the worst level was the pirate ship. That's the one that gets you. If you, you gotta be really, really careful in the pirate ship. This one, yeah. You really gotta be careful in that stage. Shredder's not hard, you just gotta wait for that when he when he has the blue flames and try to stay away from him. When he has the blue flames, you could basically go up there and, and just beat the shit out of him. And now true ninjas. It doesn't say play it again. time says an hour and 16 minutes. I did take a break, but... Hmm. Well, uh, thanks for everybody for joining me tonight on this wonderful random retro stream. Um, this was a successful one, to say the least, with uh, beating Turtles in Time on hard mode. That's... Uh, Quite an accomplishment for me, since I suck at video games most of the time. But, uh... I better, since I'm sick, I better get get to laying down and relaxing. So, um... Hopefully I can get rid of this damn headache of mine. It, that's what really sucks. But, um... Probably gonna take some more ibuprofen. I've been taking a lot of that stuff though, and it's kind of worrying me. I shouldn't be taking that much, but I can't stand when you have chronic pain issues and you're sick. It's it's a nightmare. It's total hell. It really is. You think just having the flu aches? Just imagine that magnified by the hundred times. But anyway. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and this was a lot of fun. I still can't believe I beat Turtles in Time completely. So anyway, you guys have a good night, and uh, 
I hope to see you, uh, when is, what is tomorrow, Wednesday? Yeah. I hope to see you tomorrow night. So, uh, don't forget to follow me here on Twitch. Uh, check out all my links below the video here to my Facebook, uh, Twitter. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. That's I update those the most. Um, I haven't really been on Discord. I'll get back on Discord, but I did. Oh, and I forgot I added emojis. Let me post some emojis in the chat to show you what I added. So I added those emojis there of my ugly face. So when you if you subscribe to my channel, you can use my emojis. So uh again Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you next time.